I'd like to work on the second shift on a 12 hour system. Yeah, okay, I can fix that. And we'll switch you over. Okay, I think we've got everyone as happy as we can. Sir, medics are on the way. Is there a medi medieval game where aliens are shown in medieval style era? Is there a medieval game where aliens are shown in medieval Sir, style era? Operation was successful. Or any game where Sir, skeletons are shown as the nice guys? Those are very specific requests. Um, in, in the medieval era, I, or theme, I can't think of any, Ragnus. Anyone over on YouTube, on, on the stream there, um, can you think of any medieval games that would fit those descriptions? I, are, you, are you trying to think of a particular game you've seen in the past and can't remember the name? See, Han, great playthrough. You enjoying it? Welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, what have we got? The patient has suffered from cardiac arrest and we need to reanimate him. Yeah, let's go longer procedure. And the patient's immune system is not reacting well and there's a high risk of infection. Seven extra supplies are... Okay, that's, that's brutal. I said I was going to do this if we had to. Didn't want to. But let's just put the order in. Because I can't get things built fast enough. Sir, operation was successful. That is sodding brutal. Having said that, uh, we can kick a load of these guys out. Is that our... That's a civilian. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that civilian who's leaving. Excellent. Okay. Um, I can get a... I could put a load of these in. No, it's okay. We're getting enough drafts coming in by releasing the plus ones. I know there's a stonking great battle coming, and I'm going to try and keep the plus threes lined up for it. And there's a nurse tired. Yeah, those, those shifts are okay. Sir, nurses are on the way. What's happening with the scouts? At the moment, they are evacuating villages. They're going over to the villages. The terrible, terrible scouts. You might have been playing Skyrim modded. Well, that would Sir, explain it. The I don't remember seeing anything where skeletons are the nice guys. There have been some nice guys, skeleton characters in various games in RPGs and stuff. But, um, but not as a general theme, I haven't. Medieval, the PS1 game. Uh, that's a good suggestion, Duke. I don't remember it. That is a long time ago. Wound was cleaned, shards removed, there is no severe internal damage. Easier operation. Let's go take a look at the engineers. Who's at a rest? So we're super short on these. I'll take the tired guy out and put these two in. And the others can just work until they sort of get recovered. We're okay for alcohol. This thing is slowly building. Sir, That's okay. Engineer is on the way. Sir, patient is cured. Oh, somebody died. We've just got these three guys to uh, to put in. We just have to let them rest. The, we're going to get another one of these. I hope this Sir, is the right choice. The building another one of those. I hope it is. We can make the page, we can make the operations easier anyway, so that's going to be a, a cool thing afterwards. Strong will, shorter rehab. I think we need to get to the battle, don't we? Sir, nurses reach the hospital. Someone is waiting assignments. Sir, patient is cured. Nice, we're getting through the, the regular bullet wounds we're going through nice and quick. Um, he's going to, okay, he's going to regress quite quickly this is just a lot of this is just a lot of um, chemical meds needed sadly Sir, medics reach the casualty clearing station Sir, operation was great to see a number of people on CCS they're the real bottleneck they take care of train casualties Sir, ambulance casualties good. and rehab transfer Hey, it's useful to have more in there, definitely. It's, it's always a fight in this game as to shift your staff around where they're most needed. Shorter rehab. 
good morale. Sir, new patient arrived. Okay, what have we got? Those two are gonna wait. We've got someone who's good. This is nice. This this bit's easy. <laughs> Three patients are Sir, waiting for a decision. They'll have to keep waiting. We've got a nice easy operation. And another nice well no, this this guy's high spirit, so he's gonna get better faster. I love rocking the 90 plus percent. Did we switch off half rations? Sir? Nope, still on half rations and we're, we're staying above 90 percent. That's awesome. We have a nurse. Can I get rid of dominating? Yes, I can get rid of dominating at last. Right, I don't want to lose the others. So what's the one? It's, uh, it's warm. Works significantly better when working with others. That's really nice. Okay. That does get rid of dominating. Brilliant. And I should be saving this more often. Based on our previous experiences. Hey, Ahmed. It's better to go shift two. It's better to go shift two engineers from buildings. Uh, the warms to making chemical meds. Because even if you get the doctor, you'll be uh, wasting due to insufficient meds. So it's better to build the meds for him. Well, at the moment, it's like a big, long waiting list. So we'll deal with the meds. But um, I want the doctor because if those start... Well, there's two reasons why. I'll show you why. Uh, if they start deteriorating fast because I've got like 12 people waiting to go in, then there's nothing we can do. So an extra doctor does help with that. And even if you can't get all the operations done quickly, you're more likely to get... A serious or critical patient to the front and, and treated because they'll you can you can fiddle it so that they will go in next with limited meds so you can you can work and um, work them into the the system but also we can upgrade this afterwards which decreases the operation difficulty by 50 percent which is big oh we have got a new battle marker right so what we'll do is we'll go straight to straight to this and we're going to put our plus threes into there until that goes blue. And probably should do it then some as well. There we go, it's gone blue. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put all the plus threes in there. And I think I'll send, there's a VIP there. I don't know what to do with him. Release from duty. He's not actually, I think he's... Is he a civilian? I'll just release them both. Screw it. Plus ones we can sell. Plus threes we, we're putting in. So the trenches. And the plus twos can go either way. Plus twos. I'm getting plus three from that. Let's see, what am I on? I'll be on nine. We can use this for ordering, ordering materials, actually. Which isn't a Sir, terrible idea. Was successful. I know the brother was a civil, civilian, the other was a military soldier, but um, I don't think we've been given any instructions what to do with them, so I'm quite happy just to dismiss him. Right, nice. So this is looking a bit better. Right, so we are better stocked on those. Let's go and have a look at the engineers now. So you're exhausted, you can come out. And we are going to need... Oh, we can put like three into this, can't we? Trauma meds. We have that. We have, we have everything we need at the moment. Okay, I'll put him back onto the, the chemical stuff. Sir, engineer is on the way. It all depends on what we're going to get from this. Sir? What type of injuries? Oh, God. Patient has experienced painful muscle spasms, high temperature and difficulty in breathing. He's got tetanus. Um, we'll do the expensive one. Just as I thought I was getting some built Sir, up. Patient is cured. That sucks. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's, there's too much stuff going on here. I need to move a tired person out the way. And I need to level these guys up. Can I get rid of that glutton? He eats twice a day. 
How? You, yeah, what? I'll, I'll, they're, they're supposed to be on shifts. They can't just go to the canteen whenever they want. Decreases morale over time when rations are not set to nutritious. You pig. He's adventurous, which tires slightly more, but uses up less resources to produce medicine supplies. But we can change that for productive, uses up less resources to produce food, rations, and alcohol. Or, um... I never remember to put him on the right box anyway, so... I can make him innovative, actually. Uses up less resources to make medicine supplies. So if I remember to put him in making medicine supplies... He's Travis Duke. Let's go see where he is. Travis Duke... ...is over here. So let's put him in there. That's not made a massive difference to the time for this, really, has it? I'll put you in there, because that's going to be finished soon. I just... I'll, yeah, it's okay when you're on 12-hour shifts and you can keep them in there, and 24 hours, you forget. I wish you could just... just middle-click to bring their cards up and see the perks from the screen. That would be awesome. Gurkamp, you think the VIPs were asked to bring to the front? I'll tell you what, then. I will have another look at that. So you're exhausted and need to step out for a minute. Oh, I'm going to need a load of these. A few hours. This is this will be done, and then I can take some people out of here. What's the nurse got? She's got three very useful things there. So I'm not getting rid of the helpful because that's too good. Speeds of operations at the ward. However, we can get rid of the friendly, or we can get rid of the ascetic. No, I'm not changing anything there. That's 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 a good combination. Do nothing. That's a good combination. I'm sticking with that. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at these uh, these brothers. So they should be showing in there. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> well, if they've gone, they've gone. No, actually, there's, oh, there's another VIP here. So this, this was Private Ryan. Right, though I am sympathetic to his case, I'm duty-bound to request his return to the front lines. So, he's going back to the front lines, regardless. Because we've been told, kind of, that that's where he's supposed to go. And we can hold on to everyone else in rehab until the battle takes place. And then we'll see what our strength are just like for this. Okay, well, the brothers have gone. Sir, engineer is on the way. So, whatever happens, happens. Sir, engineers reached the pharmacy. Uh, what's the situation over here? No one's, no one's waiting? Unbelievable. Now, you need to go ahead of him. And the rest is, is absolutely fine. What if I set the rest like that? Good, that's good. What if I put that in? You can come out and get the first two through. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. Good. Get them out of bed. Why should they rest? When the rest of us can't. Oh, what's this? It appears the patient's nervous system is critically damaged, as there is a high risk of permanent paralysis. I advise a more careful approach. Um, I don't think we can amputate the nervous system, so take a more careful approach. Just a longer operation. But who was that? Okay, it wasn't them, so that's okay. Probably him. I was a little bit worried it might then have a knock-on effect with some of these. He's tired. He can get through two people, though. Alright, so we're managing just in trauma at the moment. Just. Oh, it was the German doctor. Cool. You want me to ask for Ryan's autograph? <laughs> How far are we on? Okay. There's a battle coming up. And there's a tired engineer. Oh, and there's some good news. Ah, sodium hypochlorate washes. Oh, I see. Milo Stewart. Um, well, I guess we just have normal procedure on this. Sir, operation. Operation what? 
You can come out. You can go in. Actually, I think... We are starting to recover that. He's doing some good jobs there. I was going to maybe switch one of these over. But no, it's okay. Sir, engineer is on the way. Just before that... Sir, we lost this patient. Mm, that sucks. Okay, let's... Sir, patient is cured. We've lost a bit of morale here. Sir, patient is cured. They're both good news. Let's take a look at assignments, because right now... The medic teams. This is looking great over here. We don't need... Suddenly we've got a whole load of people over in the cemetery to deal with. Right, you can go over there. Those two working on a 12-hour shift. We're about to switch everyone over into this. And the nurses, we might switch them over. So we'll put this on... Um, we'll put this on 12-hour just to get people used to it. In fact, we don't need everybody, so that's that's quite good. Maybe I should just check. You don't want to work in there. You don't want to work in there. I prefer not to work in the cemetery, so that's okay. It doesn't have any preference. Right, so... Two and two. Anyone else? Just trying to get these, these preferences. That'll do. And then I'll sit put them on 24 hours as soon as um, it kicks off Sir, and we're fine are on the way. and there's someone I missed there isn't there another exhausted engineer come on 87% we need that finishing Sir, engineer was on the way. crap it appears the assisting nurse Made a mistake with the medicine. I think that nurse needs a bit of a reprimand. That's twice she's done that today. So, increased cost or longer operation? Longer operation. Sir, medics are on the way. God damn. The, is it, it's medics or is it engineers? It's engineers. We're going to need you back in there, Frank. I wonder... Is this bugged, do you think? Or do you think these characters are supposed to lose their preferences? Because they have had preferences of where they want to work in the past. But um, they're not showing up on any of the engineers now. So why that is, I don't know. I don't know whether it's supposed to be a part of the game, yeah, whether they go through different moods and when they want to work or what. I don't know. But uh, right now, they're not interested. Hey, the scouts got there. Let's take a look at what this is. All right, see you next time, Ragnus. Have a good night's sleep. Definitely a bug. Last stream, they still had their preferences. See, I've noticed those preferences disappear before, and I, the first time I thought, oh, maybe I was thinking of the medics or someone else, and I've got mistaken. But to know they definitely had preferences before. Whether it's intentional... I don't know, I, mean, I guess you could go through different moods. If you do a job long enough, you could get bored of it and want to change, but uh, it seems a bit weird that they've all gone, doesn't it? Evacuation frenzy. The village is in a state of disarray. Instead of packing only the most essential things and food, the villagers try to pack all their possessions onto the carts, sometimes even including furniture. What makes the matter worse is that many of the carts look old or fragile, not prepared to handle such weights. There was also an apparent lack of horses to pull all the carts. The scout commander quickly assesses the situation. He knows the people won't be thinking straight, as they are on the verge of panic. Also, he knows the carts are too heavily loaded to be moved by men, and some probably even for horses. He can see that many of the carts will probably break after they try to move them, or not long after their departure, and he knows he has to hurry to meet the evacuation deadlines. Allow taking as much as a cart can handle and repair the broken carts. There's four hours. Allow to pack only the most essential things and use carts to transport the elderly. That'll take an additional two hours. Discard the carts as they will only slow the villagers down. Um, we'll use it to transport the elderly. The scouts split up and start to move from cart to cart, telling the villagers to pack only the most essential things onto their carts and forcibly throwing things out if they deem them unessential. I can imagine there'd be some families would deem the elderly unessential and rather take their, their possessions. 
I can think of one or two families I know like that. The villagers protest at first, but most of them stop when the scouts explain the short deadline for evacuation and the approaching German forces. Sometimes, however, with the most uncooperative villagers, they are forced to use violence and destroy the items. The scout commander is not happy that they need to use such tactics, but he knows that without them, they have no way of making it to the evacuation zone in time. And even with them, this will probably be a close call. Understood. Sir, so, I just need to check that this is... It's not saying anything. I think it... Oh, it is. Okay, it's fine. It's adding on there. Right. Allow for closing the wounds. Save materials. Sir, medics are on the way. Infection. We have high ups for the patient's recovery. Oh, he needs a longer recovery. That's fine. That's always been the thing that's, that's worked out well. I can always afford longer recovery times. Usually. Decrease cost. Excellent. We'll take that. And we'll just put that on because I'm sure I saw someone exhausted. Unless the shift system just swapped over. Which it may well have done. Um, we will... We've got people doing trauma. We've got people doing that. That's about to finish. We'll put two people onto this. And we'll give him a rest before he gets tired. An exhausted nurse. Switch in. And the medics. Uh, it says extremely exhausted. He should be okay because he should, he should rest. He's on the resting shift, isn't he? Yeah, he's just come off shift. So I'm hoping he's going to rest up. 30 seconds on the chemical ward. The nurses at this are only at 19%. Um, yep, I've never had it above that. Unless, well, unless I put them on 24 hours or put more in. It's, I've always managed on that, though. More nurses to push 50. The trouble is, though, where would you say I take the nurses from? Because I can't take them from the rehab. She's exhausted. And I can't take them from there because I have people waiting to go in. Although that, that patient state never seems to improve much from having nurses in there. So... But it, it's managed. I've always managed with uh, with that. I guess the game is just one of those Sir, where you just you literally have to juggle those options. So, um, just a few seconds till that does. The next train load of stuff is coming at 11:52 a.m., which is great. And then we're getting the next upgrade for the chemical ward. We're under attack. The final upgrade for the chemical ward. Yeah, nurses' houses would help. We might be able to afford them after this battle. Is this more gas shells coming in? Think that was supposed to show us a double attack animation, or do you think it's like slightly glitched? Okay, we'll just we'll just play this through. We're Report. still blue. We're still good. There was a strong German push on the northwest side. Our forces retreated and avoided battle. Cowards. Okay. There is good news too, sir. I forgot we about this. A surprise attack in the east, pushing the German. Just just pause. We'll, we'll, I, we're not getting anything new and exciting out of that. Uh, the medic teams. Oh, good. They're already there. Twenty-four hours. Get them out of the trenches, please. And do we have anyone waiting here? Not yet. <laughs> They're soon going to catch up. Did we get it? Three, three seconds. Back to the further river branch. So we lost the rest of the western distributary. And the Construct Lake. chemical ward again, enhancement I mean, too. Uh, we need an extra physician. I could actually have an extra surgeon at this point, but um, I can't see. Eatery? I don't think that was a fair trade, sir. We don't really care what you think. I don't think that's making any difference to the outcome of anything in the game. Sneak attack. Maybe it was a sneak attack that came in. So we've got, we're going to have a load of casualties coming in. We are okay for food. We're going to run out of this. Well, I don't think we are going to run out of freight because any second now, the train's going to come in. Uh, the engineers. 
All right, so what we can do is put some of these guys in working. While, let's do that, because we are actually the decent numbers. Yeah, we just got to push them. <laughs> We've just got to flog them, unfortunately. Sir, engineer is on the way. We're going to have a load of wounded, so what we're going to do is go, not into there, go into here. Uh, the plus twos are all getting ejected. And the plus threes, I am tempted to put back into... Did I accidentally... wrong... yeah, I put him in the wrong one. He'll be so upset to find out he's not actually going home. And the plus threes, we'll put back in here. Yes, um, I'm not sure how it kind of works if it stores the pool of, of this for later, but there'll be some more battles coming Sir, later. Patient is cured. Oh, okay. Oh, that was... We, we did a mission? Brilliant. What did we get? We've got some more of this. Sir, engineers reached Is the this the one? We need 24 again. That's okay. We'll send them 24. We'll easily manage that. The scout finished their mission. Thank you, Kron. Well spotted. All right, Jason. See you later. Good luck on the school run. I know they can get a bit mad. Uh, we want to go to evacuating villages. And sign. Sir. Another five hours. So many things all kicking off all at once. Okay, so I still need the next train. And out in the trenches. Just... Wow, okay, Sir, now there's, operation was there's successful. 35 wounded Sir, in the trenches. New patient arrived. All right, this, this is going to get nuts. Uh, go straight in. I think what I'm going to have to do is spend this and just get a stock of equipment. So let's go for two of those. There's four. We're going to spend ten, which still gives me enough to upgrade something. I, j I just need to do that. There's, there's no doubt about it. Um, schedule. So the physician's arriving at 11.56 a.m. Nice. That's pretty soon. Good. The front line pole at the scout map moved drastically. Oh, is that the front line? I had never noticed that before. I had never noticed. I guess they're closing in on the hospital. Come on, train. I know you're coming. Yay, the train's arrived. Right, engineers. Improvements. We want this one. Decreases operation difficulty in the chemical ward. Improve. So, we've got a couple of people in staff lodging. It's not going to take too long to do. And I feel like... Um, hmm, this is half a day still, isn't it? What do we like for materials? Who can I move? I don't think I can move anyone. I think I'll leave them there. What's the max on this, by the way? 70. Uh, 70 on that. 30 on this. Okay, we're getting closer to maxing on that one. So I will drag you out. And that should get it down to five hours. We probably have just enough to keep that going. So I'm going to drag you out as well. Actually, I'll take the tired one. And we get it down to four hours. That's good. More engineers would be useful. It would actually be useful. But if I save up, I can maybe... Do I think I'll need another trauma specialist? Probably not. More nurses. The engineers... I could take an extra engineer. And it's... Yeah, go on. I'm going to do that. That's a good call. And he's coming. Um, he's coming with the big stock of stuff, which is awesome. Right, so if we go to this. We've got this guy in now, so we can start chewing through the backlog. Let's give him three patients straight away. Marcus Foreman. Cracking name. 
Right, we just need some good news now. Morale rises. 99% <laughs> morale. Yeah, engineers reach the construction site. We're almost going to max out on food, actually. I could probably turn the rations over. Uh, back to rehab. I think we can start releasing people again. Unless that changes. Successful. We should. Sir, I'd, a new patient arrived. I'd love to start. I would. I'd love to see the ambulance working more often. Sir, I'd, a dispatch from HQ. I don't feel like it um, does its job. Well, the gas burns are superficial. Great news. Patient is cured. Mage Wells, I am to inform you about Minor HQ's satisfaction regarding your handling of the matter of 2nd Lieutenant C.S. Lewis. As a token of gratitude, we decide to divert some resources from other facilities to your hospital. That's nice. Sir, a message for you just arrived. It's too much stuff coming in. Major Wells, I'm grateful for the chance you and Lieutenant Colonel McFinnigan are giving me. I will not fail and will take revenge for my brothers. I'll do my best not to die. That's always a good thing to do, I think, when you're in a war. So nothing changes. Huh. There's no, nothing great from that then. C.S. Lewis is safe. Of course, yes, yeah, C.S. Lewis was a World War One veteran, wasn't he? And we'll duck down on production on this temporarily. Sir, engineer is on the way. Right, there must be people turning up in here now. Just on trauma. Just trauma. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of wounded soldiers out there. We're not going to get... I wish I'd... Do you know what? Maybe these guys can wait. Let's let's shut down the cemetery and get the casualty clearing station going. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three. That'll, that'll do. Sir, medics are on the way. And see if we can get people moved here faster Sir, from here. Operation was successful. This is nearly done. Oh, yes. Yeah, Tolkien was as well. It's actually, it's interesting. I was talking about this the other day. When you know that Tolkien was a, a, a World War I vet, and I don't know what role he played in there, but I, I do know he, he was in the armed forces. I believe he was. Uh, you can read Lord of the Rings a little bit differently. Like, at the end of it, you know when the hobbits go home after it, and you've got Sam, who was never really phased by the whole thing and just gone on with it. It was very down to earth. And some would say maybe a bit too dim to realise the dire situation he was in. He goes home, returns to a completely normal life, gets married, settles down, tends his garden, works as normal, and is fine. You've got Merry and Pippin who go back. Uh, they can't... They've been away, they've seen some shit, they've fought, and nobody else really gets them. But they're home, but there's only, there's only them that really know what's gone on and uh, they can only relate to each other. And then you get Frodo, who was so mentally disturbed by the whole affair he can't readjust back to society he can't reintegrate and in the end he has to go away uh, to be with them um, uh, to be somewhere where he can heal and to be with people and understand what he's been through and it's 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 almost like he's writing about world war one veterans or or any veterans for that matter so maybe it's just me that sees that i don't know but i just thought that was an interesting uh, interesting take Gurkamp, how many chapters are in the game? As far as I know, three. <laughs> and then someone said there's a fourth one with DLC, which um, I haven't seen that, so I don't know, don't know anything about that. They made a biopic for Tolkien that mixed in some of his Lord of the Rings creatures during his experiences on the front lines. Hey? They mixed in some of his Lord of the Rings creatures. What was that all about then? I mean, I love Lord of the Rings tales and the movies as well, but uh, the books are great. The Hobbit is still my favourite book of all time. It's just like Lord of the Rings Light. It's like a, it's, it's a kid's book, 
as far as written as, but uh, I absolutely love it. I, I was I had it read to me as a kid when I was in school, and I loved it then, and then I got my own copy of it, and I've read it, I've read it to my kids, and they loved it. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those really, really sort of happy books, apart, apart from poor old Thorin. Anyway, leading the evacuation. Halfway through the road to the first evacuation site, one of the cart's axles breaks. The villagers stop to assess the damage and repair it, ignoring the scout's suggestions to leave it behind. Guided by a hunch, the commander orders the scouts to check the other carts. It quickly becomes apparent that nearly a third of them will break soon. Their axles are on the verge of breaking, and some of the cart wheels have visible fractures. The horses are in no better shape, tired from pulling overloaded carts. The commander looks at his watch. The deadline draws near. Salvaging carts will take an additional four hours of work. Scout teams will acquire 250 freight per scout. So that's almost worth it. Force the villagers to leave the broken carts. Yep, leave it. The villagers protest. They say that they just need a little time and many of the carts will be repaired. But the scouts know they have no time and all their possessions will mean nothing if they are dead. Using persuasion and violence, they force the villagers to move. The deadline is long past. When the scouts and villagers make it to the first evacuation point, the clearing is empty, marked with tire tracks and broken carts on the side. <laughs> Many full of abandoned possessions. The scout commander looks at the villagers and then checks his watch. He creates a plan. If nothing unexpected happens, they could make it to the second evacuation site. They'll need to hurry, but they could reach it in time. Understood. So I'm guessing... Is that automatically assigned or not? No, it's not. Okay. Assign. Sir, the scout unit have started a new mission. Off you go. Right. Panic. Panic. Who's tired? Nurses. Engineers. What are we short of? It is. We are short of trauma meds. Mainly trauma meds, I think. Let's, let's do a bit of a push. Oh, we only get to 30. I'll leave two in there. We get to 70 on those. It's going to depend on, on who comes in here. And at the moment, no one's getting to the clearing station. I am, I am convinced that the game mechanics are wrong. And that it's like no one seems to come into the clearing station, at least not in proper numbers, until everyone is out of the trenches. Something is just not, just not quite right with it. It needs a tweak. Patient is cured. I think a few other people have mentioned that um, that there was issues between ADS and CCS. Well, hey, right. So Harry Young, the medic. Um, I can get rid of his idealist. I can get rid of his reserved. I can change it with to friendly. Morale decreases over time when they work. Or I can get rid of the aggressive. Let's get rid of the aggressive. Morale decreases over time when they work with other people. Let's do that one. Full body bath construction. Excellent. So that gives us... I, I could do this one now, but the trouble is... It uses up all the resources I'm going to make. Let's see the schedule for the train. Because it, it, it could be possible. 2nd of November. So we're not getting anything for a bit less than 24 hours. That would stop me making anything. Let's have a look. There might be some other improvements we can do. The casualty, what's that? Ah, come on. That's the advanced dressing station. What's it lead to? An extra ambulance. Hmm... These would be quite good. Would they, though? So, so in the trauma station, we can have increased chance of success, but also increases the time of the operations, which is really long. Something to think about. Housing. Too expensive. We could hire more engineers. Oh, that could be good. The nurses, we could also do that. That that would be good. We could get an extra nurse. And that would be more medics. I don't feel like we need more medics at the moment. 
check what upgrades waiting behind that trauma improvement. It was... Um, the, 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 you've got electrostimulation therapy. Now, this decreases operation difficulty by 50%, but increases time of operation by 25%. And this one... This one increases the chance of operation success by 25%, but also increases time of operations. So basically, they both get longer operations, shorter rehabs, and they both affect the chance of success just differently. I'm not quite sure which would be the best way to do it. I might do the low pressure gas tanks because that costs next to nothing to do. The ration reduction. I was going to do that, but as we're running at... Oh, morale has dropped a little bit. Yeah, that might be a thing. Actually, that's a good point. I probably won't be able to run half rations for very long. If we're getting a lot of people dying and there's, there's a lot of people coming through, we might. So that one, it only costs 300. I can afford that. And that just reduces the amount of rations being used. And there's another one to do the same as well. And I can also take this one. This that's actually this takes this is an upgrade for later, I think. It takes no freight and decreases the impact of half rations on morale by 50%. That seems quite doable. And what's this over here? Oh, that's production slots. They're expensive. Okay, I'm going to go for the steam cookers. Use fewer rations. In the staff lodging, you go in. Um, that's actually quite a short one, I think. So, what do we need? I think we're probably okay from a... Oh, hang on, let's get... No, let's take the exhausted dudes out. I'll put you back in there. And I'm going to order some more alcohol from the train. Because it is cheap. There. We can do that. And then... We can have a look in New there. And who can we throw out? The plus twos are throwing out. I'm tempted just to keep putting the plus threes back in. Um, it's probably... We might be at overkill, I don't know, but I'm not going to chance it. We've got nine days left to survive. Yeah, engineers reached the pharmacy. Mm, hey, more nurses would, would not be a bad idea. So nurse housing might be the next thing. That might be tomorrow's upgrade. Oh, God. We've got exhausted as ready, already on these. Should I switch these over to 12-hour shifts? Just to keep things ticking over. And then we'll put you onto as you're exhausted. He's going to get the shortest of rests. Um, hmm. You can actually go in there, can't you? And so can you. No preferences. Right, 12-hour shifts. One works, one rests. Good. Shorter rehab. Good. We might just need to forget about producing alcohol and just buy it because it is cheap. Yeah. It is affordable. Right, this is what we needed. Um, okay, high priority. Get in there. At that point, we can actually see everyone and we have materials to do it. Oh, well, hmm, I say that. We have a load more people coming down the, the conveyor belt, haven't we? Catherine, thank you so much for the, uh, the YouTube super chat there. That is awesome. Thanks. I will certainly be able to put that to good use. Cheers. Very kind of you. I look as tired as the staff. This game is a, it is a tiring game. There's just, because everything is a balancing act. It is definitely like, it's quite mentally taxing. New patient arrived. Um, what were we doing? I'm sure I was going to change something over. Sir, operation was successful. I'm sure I was going to change something over, but I can't remember what. Oh, it might have been that. Let's have a look. Medics. Extremely exhausted. We'll take them. We'll take them out. That's fine. It's so funny that the alert for that comes up so late. It's to do with YouTube's back end. 
and how um, like the alert services can can read from YouTube. YouTube streams work quite differently to Twitch. It's weird. Doesn't make my life any easier. The burials are fine. The nurses. Uh, no one's about to collapse, and having more in there is good. I think another nurse is probably my next staff purchase. They're on a 12-hour shift. I think I can afford to put someone in there. 21%. Gives us time to get things through, doesn't it? Sir, nurses are on the way. You should use your doctors without traits to build them up. Um, Sir, with a lot coming down the line, I don't... I, I agree with what you're saying, but with so many patients coming down the line, I don't think that's going to matter. They're all going to get to see people. So if we can get through some a bit faster, I think that's better. We can get rid of combative. I think that would be a really good thing to do. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. She's always been a bit of a pain to work with. She was free, though, so... The incremental benefit in casualty clearing station is less than the operation ward for nurses. Well, to be honest, I have no idea how the mechanics work. I don't think any of us really do because there's so little information released. And I don't think the information that is publicly available from the game is probably accurate because I'm not sure the developers have, from what you see on the display, I don't think it maybe matches up with uh, the actual mechanics. However, I do know that stopping the patient condition deteriorating when there's a huge load of them coming down the line is, is more important because I have very few issues with the operations ward, thankfully. Uh, Strong-willed, so short to rehab. So that's the strategy I'm going with. Sir, and it seems to have been bearing out so far. And at the moment we can afford long rehabs because the battles are far apart and we're well sorted for them. So I don't need to worry about the rehab as much. Who's tired? Another medic. Yeah, they're getting worn out. We are getting them out of the trenches pretty quick, though, so that's that's not bad. Patient has died. That's a shame. Sir, okay, morale is plummeting. Let's go to the canteen and put uh, normal rations back on. We've got one more. Is that it? That's that's good. That's looking good. We're coping. However, we know for a fact that there's 17 there's wounded waiting to come. Sir, patient is cured. This annoys me, look. Look, this, this really annoys me. They're Sir, running down here with a patient. Arrived. There's an ambulance parked there with the lights on ready to go. I, I swear the ambulances don't work properly. Morale rises, shorter rehab, high spirit. Good, it's going straight back up. Steam cookers were finished. Steam cookers are great, because even on normal rations we use less food, so I'm pleased about that. Uh, what's this? Clean wound, shorter operation. Sir, new patient and alive. severe burns, but he's starting to heal, so that's improved as well. And another one. Easy operation, high morale. That morale is say, up and down like a yo-yo at the moment. Now this is where we want the patients to come in. We can easily cope with them in this ward. Yeah, I'll put them on there where we can. Maybe I should give this guy down the bottom all the one hour patients to get like loads churned through. So I don't know if they gain experience on a like a per patient level, as in, you, you heal 10 patients, you get a level, regardless of how long it takes, or whether you get experience based on the difficulty in the operation time. I have no idea. Not that it matters, but um, maybe we should give him the easy patients. Sir, operation was successful. So where are they bringing this guy to? What does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean there's a dead person there waiting to be removed? So the second evac site. Just barely meeting the deadline, the scout team and the villagers reached the second evac site. Most of the trucks have left already, as the French forces did not want to risk being bombarded by artillery. 
The evacuation site is now nearly in range of their artillery and they could mistake the evacuation for a military operation. It quickly turns out that even if most of the villagers' possessions were to be abandoned, there would still not be enough room for almost 30 villagers. The French officer tells the scouts that the remaining villagers must make the journey on their own, but the commander knows that most of them have no way of surviving that long of a journey. Really? He looks at the villagers. There are simply too many elderly and children to even load all of them onto the trucks. Give shelter to all the... No. We do gain a morale boost. Give shelter to the villagers that will not survive the journey in the hospital. So we're taking 15 and we'll get four drafts. Or offer some supplies and send the villagers on their way. Lose 15 food. Go on, I'll, I'll take in 15. Sir, we'll go medium on this one. Right, what is, what is this telling me? Oh, it's telling me this. Of course it is. It appears the patient's nervous system was damaged. Okay, take a more careful approach. And superficial damage. That's Sir, good. New patient arrived. Coming into trauma. Okay, this is this is fine. We can work with these. And the chemical ward. All right, so far so good there. Hysterical. I could, yeah, I could do without anyone hysterical, to be quite honest. We can't get rid of it. We can get rid of impulsive by making them work better at the cemetery. Um, tires significantly slower, work significantly better. I'll go for ambitious, which will get rid of the slightly less effective working. Okay, they're flowing in now. We've got this covered. A three hour off. Um I guess if he's in good condition I can I can give them to him. Although there's more coming, so let's let's do that. Let's let's give him the short ones. If I get any one hour ones, I will put them through this guy at the bottom. Ten hours. Operation was successful. <laughs> I like the route that ambulance takes to get here. Or get somewhere. Sir, operation was We got more exhausted medics. Uh, we've got three on. Got two on and three off. Which is it's just gonna have to be the way it is, I think. Hmm. How long did I say it was November Sir, the 2nd? Operation was success November the 2nd. Okay, so it's still it's still 24 hours from now before I get any more things. No, I can't build anything. We're going to need those. Sir, operation was successful. Uh, the engineers. On 12-hour shifts, if we can keep in the 20s on those materials and 30s on that, we should be good. The alcohol is... Fine. Unless there's something really cheap that we can build as an improvement. I mean, we got this. Actually, we could do that. That decreases the impact of half rations on morale by 50%. Which would be... Especially with the civilians that have come in, it could be good. Uh... That would be nice, but it uses 300 resources up, and I don't know that we can afford that. I could think about it. I don't think there's anything that I can really afford to do. Max scouts in a team. Housing would be nice, but they're, they're sodding expensive now. He uses all the drafts, nearly, but we get an extra nurse. Don't think there's anything else in healing that we can afford. The eight hour system? Oh, actually, we get extra slots for nurses, but uh, we don't get nurses. That would be good. 
casualty beds. We can get in that. Oh, I need to do this one though, which is expensive. That costs none. That's emergency measures. I'm not interested in that. And that's a chemical ward. I might do that one. Yeah, go on. Let's improve that. And then at the staff lodging, this is going to take next to no time. It just opens up the options for some of the operations. We're, we've never used it so far, obviously, but Sir, we could maybe. Ambitious is always the best. Ambitious is a good perk to take. I, I agree. You get a feeling we lost our supply from the train yeah, after this next assault? Uh, it might be a risk. Seems a bullet passed through without causing major damage. I have a feeling at some point we, we are... Go you're resting? No, you're not. Um, we are going to lose the train supply. Yeah, doctor is starting a new shift. Be nice if it gives us some warning. But I, I think you're right. I think it will at some point. We need to turf some people out of here. All the ones can go in there. Um, the threes are going in there, ready to fight. And the twos, go on, I'll put twos in, and then we're, we're good for uh, for upgrades anyway. We can order materials. Sir, patient is cured. Decrease cost, I'll definitely take that one. So, it's looking good. I think it's looking good. We've nearly got the people off Sir, the front. Patient is cured. How's it looking up here? There's 25 wounded. Sir, three have died. The There's two in, the, two in the trenches. So, at this point, Sir, we are going to get them shifted pretty quickly. Right, we need a nurse who isn't exhausted. Arabella Head was one of the operating theatre nurses. Uh, okay. So far, so good. Yeah. I would like one or two more nurses. So I think if we can afford... Sir, nurses are on the way. After the next load of supplies come in, if we can afford the, the, the nurses upgrade, I think we'll do that one. What have we got? Increased cost, but shorter rehab time. Or amputate the leg. Can we have a look at the patient card? Doesn't say it doesn't say what state he is. Okay, let's let's keep him alive. If I could go through the whole game without a single amputation, I'd be quite happy with that. Oh, uh, cheers, see, and I'll, I'll look at the uh, I'll look at the nurses in a sec. Uh, I, sometimes when you assign them, when you move nurses in, it puts them on different shifts, and sometimes it doesn't. So I wish it would just auto balance, because I I forget to check. So I'm glad you guys are pointing out, by the way. Ah, man, is the warehouse upgrade need? It needs 900, I think, because you spend most of the supplies now on upgrades, not on meds making. Sir. I think. Uh, did we say it was 900? It's 900. So it's something I could do. And we do have enough drafts to order additional meds. So, But I don't know what additional benefit it would, um, it would really give me. Like having an extra truck. Unless the truck could be, could be used as an ambulance, but it's, it's absolutely no use at all for anything on the, on the scout map at the moment. We don't have any depots that we can we can get from. And I don't think they can be used as ambulances because there's a different tree for that. And that just increases storage capacity. Uh, so we, we could possibly upgrade the warehouse. It's a bit of a gamble. Trucks can't be used as ambulances. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Sir, new patient arrived. Ooh, what have we got? The patient has experienced episodes of uncontrollable hatred and aggression. I fear that without treatment he could pose danger to himself or others. Um, we don't have behavioural therapy. We don't have psychotropic treatment. Uh, we can declare him unfit for combat. 
or schedule a normal recovery. That's a shame. That is a shame. Okay, uh, we'll have to... What's the patient card say? Unfit for combat, I think is, is fair enough. We'll have a short rehab on him. Let me have a look at... Did I not do... Oh, I haven't done the trauma ward, that's why. So, maybe... For 900, the trauma ward... That's going to be a long one. Um, for the occasional one that we can't treat... I think it's probably acceptable. I'm still thinking nurses' houses... But I think we can probably get to the next battle. Oh, there's so much to do. There's so much we could do. Sir, 